what's up everybody welcome to Carpo Gaming and another Borderlands 3 video alright today we have another legendary weapon guide for you now this one will be a little bit of shocking we're talking about the simulating echo now the simulated echo comes with the red text don't make me repeat myself and look I searched far and wide for the red text meaning in this and I really couldn't get a concrete reason for this. I had memes, I had historical quotes, I had music, so we're just going to roll with this. Alright, it's a torque weapon. It's uh, very underwhelming to say the least. But we're still going to go over it because I'm going to go over pretty much every single legendary in the game that I pick up. Alright, now this one is actually an anointed version of the simulating echo. So on action skill in the next two magazines will deal 50% additional bonus incendiary damage. Now that's going to help us out a lot because the regular stats are not that great. A2900 damage, 73% accuracy, 51% handling, 2.0 on the reload speed, 2.5 on the fire rate, and only 5 in the magazine. We have plus 50% fire rate, 122% splash damage, and yes, it's very highly effective against shields. So, where did I get this from? This is a world drop. You can get this anywhere. I picked this up from the Grave War when I was taking a little bit of a break from farming in the heck. So, yeah, it's always a good idea to go do a little bit of something different so, you know, you won't get burned out and stuff like that. Now, it seems like he's been dropping different weapons because this is the first time I picked this one up. And it is an anointed version, so that's actually pretty cool. It's a very sexy looking weapon, I'm not even going to lie about that. So how does it perform in the end game? Well, like I said previously, it's a little lackluster. Now, with all of the nerfs that been going on, they should just really release a patch, just straight buffs. Because a lot of these legendary weapons are very, very cool, and they deal decent amount of damage. It's just, they don't really work in Mayhem Mode 3 let alone Mayhem 04 that's coming later on, so I would hopefully expect a buff to all weapons clear across the board because if we're going to get Mayhem 04, weapons like this will never see the light of day unless a lot of these weapons get a buff. But nonetheless, when I take it over here to the Trials of the Instinct, it's it's just decent against fleshly targets. It's just okay. I mean, you know, I, I'm a vault hit for sure. I hope we get a buff because, like I said, uh... You know, a lot of these weapons that that are being vaulted when I do these videos uh, could actually be pretty good if they get a buff. Now I'll take it over here to the Trials of the Cunning, and it definitely helps out and is very highly effective against shields, just like it said. But other than that, you know, it's a vaultable weapon. Not, not, nothing great about this weapon, but it looks good. And like I said, if it gets a buff, which a lot of these weapons needs to get buff, especially before Mayhem Mode 4 come out, well then it'll be a whole totally different story. You know what I'm saying? This thing could be totally just melting through, guys. But we'll have to see in the future, and that's totally up to Gearbox. But yeah, that's pretty much going to end it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. As always, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. And hey, if you really want to help out the channel and the video, you can do so by liking the video if you indeed like the video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. And don't forget, I upload daily Borderlands 3 videos. So turn on that bell notification and stay up to date for more Borderlands 3 videos. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one later.